Good day class. So for today, we are going to discuss recruiting, selecting, and hiring hotel employee. So I have already discussed in our lecture class uh, the process of the hotel or a firm and how they're going to conduct recruitment and how they are going to select the appropriate applicant and how they are going to hire hotel employee. Okay, so this would be your last laboratory activity in HMGT122 or for the ventals in lodging operations. Okay, so for today, this would be the learning outcomes. So perform the process in hiring hotel personnel. Okay, so employee recruitment and selection. So the process in employee recruitment and selection is you're going to identify the job analysis you're going to determine the job description and how are you going to post a job advertisement and after posting a job advertisement how are you going to conduct interview for the selected applicants and selecting the right applicants for the job and job offer Okay, so mone siya ang process. Now, let us first discuss job analysis. Okay, so job analysis, this is a very crucial step or this is a, a crucial first step in, in, in recruiting. Okay, so job analysis, it is a process of collecting information about the specific of each job in the organization. This is the foundation of the recruitment and selection process. So again, process na siya on how you're going to collect information or on sa mga specific nga detailed information sa job sa sa o sa organization. Okay? So it answers the question, what does the job involve? So you're going to have a list of behaviors and skills required to do the job. But how are you do you how do you really know? what the job involves. So there are many ways to gather this information that would depend on the size and scope of your operation. Some methods could include surveys, surveys completed by the current employees or manager interviewing employees who are currently doing the job or mga observations lang, general observations lang sa usa katrabaho. So it is very important that all key stakeholders participate in the job analysis because uh, this is the process to ensure that information is accurate and for employee to buy in. Okay, so no one knows the job better than the person who does it. And both manager and employee perspective are important so that uh, the analysis captures all relevant duties and responsibilities in a non-biased way. Okay, so once the job analysis is complete, you will have a sound base of information to move on to the next step of developing a meaningful job description that will be consistent with everyone's understanding of the position. Okay, so if na anay job analysis, na anay mga list of information needed, now you're going to proceed to the job description. Okay. So, job description, it is your roadmap to success. Okay? To success in hiring, training, and evaluating. Okay? So, a job description, it summarizes the duties, responsibilities, and qualifications required for the position. So, a clear job will not only make every step of the hiring process easier. It will also make other human resources functions easier and more streamlined now this is a guide for creating an effective job description first identify the main duties and responsibility of the position so you're going to summarize the most critical or important functions like list the daily uh, weekly monthly and annual tasks or responsibility of the position we're going to use mga descriptive verbs to identify the skills required. Like, for
for example, manage serving service staff or resolve customer complaints or coordinate shift schedules or complete food orders. Okay, so those are examples. The second one is be specific about the qualification skills and experience required. Okay, so consider requirements for education, uh, work experience, uh, technical skills, or soft skills like interpersonal skills, like an attitude, okay, so you are going to consider that one, that an employee must have to succeed in the position. You're going to identify specific skills that you're required, like ability to solve the problem with staff and guess tactfully and efficiently. You're going to specify to what degree the candidate need to possess the skills you require. Or you're going to include the level of education and training needed to meet the requirements of the job. Okay, so mona siya, o sana siya sa mga specific na qualifications na imong kinahanglan sa osaka applicant. And then last is date the document. So job description are not statis are not static documents. As positions within the organizations. The need of the organizations change, so though the job requirement. Therefore, the job descriptions need to reflect these changes and knowing the date of the job description was last review is very helpful. Okay, so very specific nisha, very important nisha ang date sa document. Kay, like bito ano mga libro, di ba? Nalasya mga revision, revision. So same gihapon ani. Okay. So, job description includes the following. Since this is very crucial, and this is the foundation of the recruitment and selection process, so job description includes the following. So, the job title, like for example, front desk in charge. Main duties and responsibilities. So, example, um, since I mo job description is front desk in charge, so that includes um, assessing check-in and check-out procedures. Okay, ana. So skills, qualification, and experience required. Like for example, skills. Um, you are um computer literate. Okay, ana nga skills since ang front desk in charge is more on property management system. Ana siya uh inputting um information from the guests. So dapat na kay skills ana sa computer. Experience required. So like for example, na ana kay experience from the previous hotel. So, dapat maka-reflect na siya or maka-input na siya sa job description. And then, equipment and tools required. Okay. Training requirements. Okay. Working court conditions. Um, reporting structure and dates. Okay. So, muna siya kailangan mabutang um, sa job description. And after the job descriptions, you're going to decide na the job ad posting. Okay, so planning for the job ad or posting. So before you post the job opening, ask yourself these five questions. So the hotel will ask these five questions. From what demographic or geographic pool am I trying to draw? For example, are you identifying as possible recruits local or mga residents or youth or mga career changers? or mga seniors, or mga new immigrants, or mga foreign workers, mga ing ana. Second, how do I reach my ideal candidates? So, saan man mo siya pag-reach, or saan man mo pag-reach sa imuhang candidate nga gipangita? Okay, like, for example, um, you're going to consider where do your ideal candidates spend their time? For example, school, events, um, religious groups, mga industry networking events, mga career fairs, or what do your ideal candidates regularly read and what for, and in what format? Like for example, local community, mga regional newspapers, mga trade, mga online jobs, mga social media. Okay, mga ina. ana And then third, is there anyone within organization who may know or someone either personally or professionally who would be suitable for the job? Okay, so, for example, does your saw chef know another chef who is looking for a job? Okay, kanang ing ana. Referral, kumbaga. And then fourth one, what benefits will, with, will an employee receive besides wages? So, for example, 
um, you, does your hotel offer flexible hours or seasonal work or a fan environment or a chance to give back to the community or an opportunity to work outdoors, mga yung anak. So, you have also to consider those things. And then lastly, do I have an existing employee who would be interested and qualified for this job, position, or could be trained for the job? Okay, so for example, um, uh, one of your line cooks ready to be trained as a social, okay, mga ingana, or even ang inyuhang mga um, on-the-job trainee. Okay, since nakita ni mo nga ang kanang inyuhang on-the-job trainee nga student is maayo kay siya anak nga job and then it would and and hitabo nga vacant na sa nga position. So, i-consider ni mo nga asiya na lang ang kuha on after niya maka-complete sa iyahang narrative after niya maka-graduate siya na lang ang kuha on. So, dili na lang kapag butang ang job posting since na alam makay target nga kuha on. Okay, mga ing anak. So, you don't forget this one. Then, where to find your ideal recruit? So, you have a variety of options available to, he to help you locate potential job candidates. It could be both internally or externally. So, some of these options are free, while others are required a financial investment. And each has different advantages and disadvantages that you will want to consider. So, you're going to identify mga potential employees internally. This includes mga word of mouth. Um, friends and family uh, that can offer many benefits, including being typically the cheapest method of recruitment. However, um, internal recruiting may lead to having a stagnant workforce. Um, hiring from within may not provide the fresh approach you are looking for. Also, sometimes the right person for the job is not available internally. Uh, existing employees may not have the right mix of education, um, skills, or experience. Okay, so if those things um, exist internally, then it will be the chance to recruit externally. So external recruiting through newspaper, um, appropriate internet, mga sites, mga schools, mga job fairs. Okay, so maona siya. But it can also yield a huge number of applications. So, it could be both good or bad, which is very time-consuming. Additionally, um, external recruiting can be expensive. Kaya mag-provide naman ka mga job ads, Anna. Mag-place naman ka, Anna, ang mga wanted signs. Okay, so, more cost will incur from recruiting externally. So, prepare the job advertisement. So, your job ad advertisement should reflect your company, company's values, and effectively communicate, communicate the various duties and responsibilities of the available position. For example, if your organization is free-spirited and encourages employees to show personal style, then depict that in your advertisement. Ultimately, uh, the hiring process should be a win-win situation for both employer and employee. So, you want individuals who want to come and work for you. So, be sure to provide all the information in your advertisement that potential clients need. So, this includes qualifications required. So, like professions, like mga experiences, um, skills, and personal traits. i sorry. Second is how to apply. Okay, so, sa mo pag-apply? So, you can contact, pakasan baka sa email, or makasubmit baka personally. So, deadline for applications, uh, you, kailangan yun, ibutang yun sa job advertisement, kung ano saan deadline. Um, and also, the company information, and why a candidate would want to apply for the company. Of course, kay, as an applicant, especially if they have your experiences, diligyo na sila mo, ingun nga mo, apply lang sila, anak kay ganahan sila mo, apply lang sila, anak kay, um, ganahan sila mo, apply. Okay? So, na, since na ano siya ng experiences, taas na kaayos siya expectations sa ihang kaugalingon, so dapat inig-apply niya worth it na ang dili lang sa swildo. Worth it kung unsa ang ihang ma-provide sa company, kung unsa po ang ma-provide sa ihang company. Okay? So, mo nang kailangan ang company information and nga no, ang candidate ma-apply man sa ilang company. Okay? So, after the recruiting process, it is now time for selecting the best person for the job. Okay? So, so, during the busy working season, 
it is easy to hire less than ideal candidates. But if you do that, often the result is creating more work for everyone in the long run, making everyone... Making a hiring decision is one of the most important decisions that a manager or a business owner can make. So here, we're going to consider uh, mga steps, mga few steps on how to screen resumes um, and how to, to discuss mga interviews, mga checking references, and making the employment offer. Okay, so effective resume screening. So, the goal of screening resume is to select the most qualified applicants to interview so that you do not waste your time interviewing people who are not suitable for the available positions. Until you reach the interview process and are able to talk with the candidate face-to-face, -face, the resume is generally your only source of information about the candidate's abilities, knowledge, and skills. Unless someone you know has recommended the person or you have had prior experience in working with them. So in checking or to help you screen resumes efficiently and select the most qualified candidate to interview, you're going to use this step-by-step -step procedure. So you make a checklist and compare resumes. Categorize each applicant. Select candidates for interview and communicate with the applicants okay so after screening the resume you are going now to conduct the interview so interview may be conducted by telephone or in person so telephone interviews are often used as the first step to assess whether a candidate may be suitable for a further face-to-face -face meeting they are also used full when a candidate lives too far away for a face-to-face -face meeting because of cost and time restraint. So in this case, interviewing by Skype or Google Meet or Zoom meeting can be a bridge the gap between having a telephone interview and in-person interview. However, uh, whenever possible, telephone interview should not take place the place of personal interviews. Some personality traits and behaviors may be more evident in person. And the more time you spend with a potential candidate in person, the better our hiring decisions will be. In person <coughs> interviews, um, some sometimes held in conjunctions with a performance based interview. Okay? Like, for example, um, since um, apply siya as a cook, so for siya ni mo pangayuan o. Pwede siya nimo ipa-perform og dishes para tuon siya nimo sa mga atubangan. Kunya or kung ni-apply siya as a front desk in charge, pwede siya nimo ipa-act as a front desk. Or if ni-apply siya og housekeeper, pwede siya nimo ipa-bid making. Okay, so mga ing ana, mga um demonstration on a specific job nga gi-apply yan. Then the interview process. So to, do, to begin the interview, introduce yourself and any other who may be present and involved in the process. So you're going to state your role and make the applicant feel at ease. So let the applicant know how long you expect the interview to take and what to expect. For example, you might explain that there will be about 30 minutes of question followed by a short facility tour. Giving the applicant this kind of orientation to the interview will help make them more comfortable. Okay, so during the interview, let the candidate do the majority of the talking, like the 80-20 rule is a good rule to thumb to follow. So you're going also to tell the candidate about your company, your philosophies, the products, and the services offered. You can do this either at the start of the interview or at the end of the interview. Some interviewers wait to describe these details of the positions and organizations until after they have asked all the main interview questions to lessen the tendency of leading the candidate to the answers you may be seeking. For example, if you tell a candidate at the start of the interview that you are looking for a, someone who is very energetic, forward thinking, or embraces changes, so that may influence the person's answers to your questions. However, you may reduce the risk of guiding the applicant's responses by asking a behavioral descriptive question. After the introduction, so one na siya ang questions. So, 
behavioral descriptive questions. So like, can you describe a situation where you deal with a really angry customer who was um, waiting for too long for food? So mga ina nga questions na, mga situational questions or even mga personal questions or even mga question that is based on the resume. Okay? And then last one is wrap up. Okay? So manin siya. Ang end na sa interview process. Like for example, no, ako na experience sa... Um, for applying the front desk in charge in the hostel is more, they have questioned me more on my experiences, more on the job description, like kung sa mga responsibilities sa Osaka front desk in charge, sa manila yung mga gipangutanan ako. Okay? And then, after the interview process, so making an offer to to an employee employment. So after selecting the best candidate, you need to make a offer at job. So kung nakaselect mo sa inyong organization sa inyong hotel, kung ginsa to siya, so time na para i-offer kung unsa ang naa sa inyong hotel. Um, remember that you are not obliged to hire any of the applicants if you are not satisfied with them. So, a verbal job offer must be followed by a formal written offer of employment. So, muna na siyang contract signing. So, um, this ensures that you and the candidate are fully aware of the terms and conditions of the employment. So, when making a verbal offer, ensure nga, ikang congratulate ni mo, um, i-state ni mo kung unsa ang iyang position, i-inform mo ang candidate kung unsa siya mag-sugod o pila iyang swildo, kung unsa ang mga benefit, and then kung unsa iyang mga absences, mga ingana. And then you're going to confirm the date and time. So aside from the verbal um, offering, you're going also to write it on a, on a paper. So naagihapon kay ka ng formal written offer. Like, contract. So, in the contract, makastate dito ang duration sa iyahang employment o sa iyahang mga benefit, pila iyahang salary. Okay? Mga na siya. And then, once nga naanak kayo na-select, i-orient na nimo ang employee. So, this is an event that is structured and organized to focus nga ang tanang information sa bago nga employee is makuha agad niya sa iyahang tra nga, trabaho. And this is the best Time to influence and shape perceptions and attitudes in the employee. Okay? So, kanong kailangan man ta mo orient? Okay? Kanong kinahanglan man mo orient? Because it increases an employee commitment. It increases the productivity and it decreases the employee turnover. And then after the orientations, okay, siyempre orientation, naana diri ang background sa hotel, o sa imong gitrabahuan, asa ka nga department, o sa imong mga jobs and responsibilities, and kung unsa po ang mga um, rules and regulation imposed by the company or the hotel, so naana diri sa orientation. And then, after the orientation, so proceed na sa training. So, even though na na kay experience, even though na na experience ang Osaka applicant or ang Osaka qualified na applicant or ang Osaka na hired na applicant, still na agi hapon na siya training. Since lahi-lahi ang pamaagi sa Osaka company or sa, kaho, sa Osaka hotel. Though, the standard operating procedures of the hotel is the same, but um, hotels is ilahan ng game innovate. Okay, lahi-lahi man ang ilahang um, services na gina-offer, lahi-lahi man ang ilahang way of um, satisfying the customer. Okay? So, the training process includes reviewing the job description and set training objectives, selecting the trainings, creating a plan, determining the training methods and mode, um, identifying the competent trainers, choose a means of evaluating of or training was successful, and delivering the training and evaluate the training. Okay, so employee trading um, isn't always straightforward, particularly from the perspective of the employee. Um, employees does not always make the connection between training and improved job performance. So using a job description, it is the base for training programs. It highlights the focus on the job performance and ensures relevant training uh, content. So... Use of employee training manual is very important also in conducting the training process. Kaya may bahuan man nila dito kung what the procedures, um, the systems, o kung saan nature sa training.
Okay. So, more lang to siya ang process in recruiting, selecting, orienting, and hiring sa Osaka Hotel. Okay? So, basically, um, kailangan good nga na ay job analysis and job description so that the hotel makahibaw sa kisa ilang target ng mga applicant. And also, in job posting, um, you have they have also to consider if internally or externally ba sila mo hire o um, mga applicant. And then, in selecting process, so, i-review nila ang resume, um, maghimo sila comparative analysis according to the sections or sa kung saan suits ilang resume that will be based also sa ilang mga experiences. And then, orientation and then the training process na. Okay? Ayan. And then, for your laboratory activity 10, so, you're going to research or ask a hotel manager if naamoy ka ila or based on personal experience. Personal experience in your experience or experience in your family or experience in your ati o kuya regarding sa pag-process in hiring hotel personnel. Okay? So, one is ang format. So, introduction, you're going to define the process and importance in recruiting, selecting, and hiring hotel employee. And then, the result na. Okay? So, sa result, i-indicate ninyo ang name sa hotel na inyong kipili, na i-discuss po din nyo kung unsa ang ilahang process. And then, the third one is learning. So, state what you have learned from the activity. Okay? So, deadline for this one is next week. Okay? Based on your laboratory schedule. Okay, so, since mauna ni siya atong last laboratory activity number 10, so I would like to thank everyone for being hardworking and responsible students. So, despite sa ito ang give face karoon ng pandemic, still, ni continue mo sa inyong hang pag-skwela, wala mo na discourage sa atong situation karoon. Okay, so be positive lang yun. Ayaw mo padala sa inyong mga nabatian ng mga negative sa gawas. Kay... Kani nga panghitabo, take this as an opportunity to to still learn and to fight good kung unsa ang inyong dream. Okay? Kay challenge lang ni siya. Uh, gamay rin ni siya nga challenge nga inyong gi-face karon. Ang real nga challenge na is when you are working. Na. So, daghan pagid mo ka ay yung mga challenges nga ma-experience. So, take it positively. Still, be a good student, hardworking and responsible student. And in doing so, manage your time. Okay, i-list down ninyo ang inyong mga needed nga i-pass and then isuwat ninyo kung kano sa ang deadline. Okay, and then kung mahimo magpa-alarm mo sa inyong phone two days before the deadline, pwede mo makalimot nga na adan mo isap mo. Okay, so thank you everyone. I'll be praying for your safety and God bless.